Hey guys, I've got my Zentech Rider M gimbal and the Zentech Rider gimbal mounted on my DIY GoPro tray. I want to talk to you today about having the lens of the GoPro offset from the roll axis motor. There are some people that are real concerned with this and I just want to test it and see if it makes any difference. Uh, my guess is that it's really not going to be that noticeable, but what I did was 3D printed this bracket so that it would allow me to flip the GoPro over and we can test it. So you can see when the GoPro tilts, it stays in line with that rear roll motor. Over here, the lens is offset and it's not in line with that back motor. So when you, when you tilt it, the lens moves quite a bit. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the setup before we get to the sample footage. Um, but my theory is it's not going to make a big difference. Here you can see on the left side the normal gimbal setup where the lens of the camera is offset from the roll motor. The right side shows the gimbal where the camera is flipped over so that the lens is in line with the roll motor. Theoretically, the right side should be steadier. In this scenario, um, I'm walking down a trail and in here in a minute I'll break into a run and both gimbals do a pretty good job in this uh, setting. They keep it pretty steady and it's hard to tell any difference. Here I shot some footage in our Ranger. Concentrate on the roll bar and you'll start to see a little difference. The background has a lot of motion and you, you don't see any change there. But if something is stationary in the frame, you start to see a small difference. Also, if the, if the object is close to the camera, that, that makes you see a bigger difference too. Still, it's very, very slight, hard to see. Here's a close-up of the truck grill. And here I'm trying to keep the cameras pretty steady. But you can see there's just a little bit more motion on the left side where the lens is not in line with the roll motor. Here's another shot, just a close-up of a plant and just holding the camera steady and you can see just a very small difference but the left side does seem to have a little bit more motion. Um, pretty hard to tell and, and you got to be close to an object and holding the camera steady. Here's another example, just some close-up of some leaves and it's just a overall slightly less motion on the on the right side where the camera lens is in line with the roll motor. It's almost indetectable but just a tiny bit there. So I did want to mention that in my setup where you flip the camera over with the custom bracket it is a little bit harder to get the camera out of that so that's a downside. Overall this lens position thing is really not that big of a deal. It's more important to pick a gimbal with the features that you want it's very hard to see the difference. Uh, this test was not really a perfect comparison because of the two different gimbals and the different models of GoPro, but that's about as close as I could get. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing.